Yeah, hi friends. Uh, my name is Arun. Today I'm going to discuss about uh, one interview program. So that is how to print even and odd numbers using two threads sequentially. That is one after another. So the question is, uh, odd number thread uh, should print one, three, five, seven, like uh, odd numbers. Even number thread should print even number, say two, four, six, eight. So the requirement is, uh, odd number should uh, odd number thread should print one. And then followed by even number thread should print two. And followed by odd number thread should print three. And even number thread should print four. Like that, I need to print the numbers from one to n actually. And here n may be anything, 10, 100, 200, anything actually. So here we need to understand how to create a thread. So there are two ways, friends. The one is by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface. And um, I, you know, I'm going to create a thread by using extending thread class actually. So by using implementing runnable interface also, we can create the threads. So let's get into the application. So already I created one project, Arun videos, and I'm going to create one package. So it's recommended. Uh, so I created com.test. Here I'm going to create one, two threads. First, I'm going to create even number thread. And um, so I already told you, how to create, a, uh, how I'm going to create a thread by extending the threads class. So extends thread. Okay. Here in thread class, we have one run method. So that one I'm going to override it. So here I will give my own implementation later. So I will give, we will give implementation later. Implementation later actually. So here also, now I'm going to create one more thread. So class say odd number thread. So here also, so same, I'm going to create this thread by extending the thread class. So in thread class already run method is available, but I'm going to overwrite this run method. So I want, I would like to give, I'll give my own uh, implementation later. So we will give implementation later. So to, I created two threads. So one thread uh, is responsible to print even numbers. One thread is responsible for printing odd numbers. That's it. Now I'm going to create the main class actually. So this is a core class. So even odd number. So here I want main method as well. So you can take main method also. So here I'm going to take one counter variable and how many numbers you want. That also I'm going to take here. So I'm going to take public static integer n equal to 10. 10 is, so I'm going to print 10 numbers actually. So from starting number is integer say count equal to one. So the meaning is, uh, you know, starting number is one and ending with 10 actually. So I'm going to generate the numbers from one to 10. If you want to generate the numbers one to 100, so make this n as 100. If you want to print numbers from 100 to 200, so make it 100 and make it 200. That's it actually. Okay, uh, now uh, here I'm going to create uh, two methods actually. The first method is public void generate even numbers. So in the same way, I'm going to create one more method. So public void generate odd numbers. So that's it. So this number will print even numbers and uh, this method will print odd numbers. That's it only. So here I'm going to take one synchronized keyword here, synchronized this keyword. So what is the use of this synchronized block here? So I'm working with the multi, uh, I'm working with the threads, right? Here I created two threads. So two threads, uh, you know, because of synchronized, synchronized block. So multiple threads cannot access this synchronized block. So one after one only, so thread, by, uh, thread after thread only will access it. So that's why I'm going to take synchronized block here. So here I'm going to take while, so while I'm checking actually, what I'm going to check, so count is less than n or not. So what is the meaning? So starting number, already I printed all the numbers are not, I'm checking. If not, I'm entering into the while loop. So here, while I'm checking, what I'm going to check here, count is even number or odd number, I'm checking. Count two equal to, see here, this method is responsible to print the even numbers. If count the number is odd number, then what I need to do, I, I should not print, I, I need to wait actually. So that's why I'm checking if count equal to one, I should not print anything, I need to wait for 
uh, another thread notification. So that's why I'm going to take a try here. And uh, inside that try, I'm calling wait method. That's it. So catch if any exception occurs. So just to handle it. No, 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 simply print that one. So you don't start, start it. Okay. Uh, you know, if count equal to one means count is odd number. So no need to do anything. Just simply you have to wait till you get the uh, notification. So then if it is, if count is not odd number, if it is even number, no need to, no need to wait. Simply you can go and print it. So which thread is printing? So you can write anything. Uh, even uh, number thread like that you can do. Even number thread you can do. So plus, uh, I'm going to give, so count value you can print it. Once you print the number, just increment it. Say count to plus plus. And once your uh, execution is done, yeah. your printing the number is done, then you have to notify the other waiting threads. If any thread is waiting, just simply bust my job is done. So you can execute, uh, you, you can start your execution or you can start your task like that you can say. So that's it only. So that's the way of printing even numbers. In the same way, we can implement uh, generate odd numbers method as well. Here also, I am uh, I am going to take synchronizer block. So I already told you what the use of the synchronizer block. Uh, this block, um, multiple threads cannot access this synchronizer block at a time. One by one only can access it. So I'm going to check while I printed all the numbers are not, I'm checking how. So count less than n actually. So if you go to, if you enter it into the, yeah, if you enter into the then just I have to, just we have to check what I need to check whether count is, count is uh, uh, even number or odd number, you have to check it. So if to equal to, if it is even number, so we should not print it because this method is responsible. This method is responsible to print odd number. So if count is even number, no need to print. Simply you have to wait it, that's it. So go to try block and call wait method. That's it. So so if count equal to, I mean count is even number means so even uh, even number thread is working. So we need to wait till it completes. So simply you have to catch exception G. So just you have to print the error. That's it only. Okay. That's it. So if it is not uh, if it is not even number, simply it is the odd number, then what we need to do? Straight away, you can go and we can print the odd number. So you can say odd number thread is printing this term. Just I am referencing the set only. So just to print the count number. Once the printing is done, just increment the counter variable. Once our job is done, just call notify method. So say, uh, boss, my job. So if any thread is waiting, just notify that. What is that, boss? Already my job is done. So you can print, uh, you can start our task like that only. So likewise, I created uh, two methods. The first one is generate even numbers. So the second one is generate odd numbers only, okay? Now, what we need to do, we need to create one number actually. We, uh, I mean, to call these two methods, we need one object, right? So that's why I'm going to create even odd number, say uh, object equal to even odd number, that's it. So just uh, uh, already we created two threads, right? So just uh, create an object for those two threads, even, odd number, no, even number thread, say even equal to no, even number thread. Here also odd number thread you want, right? Odd number thread e to equal to no, odd number thread, that's it. But my requirement is inside the run method, I want to call this method actually, these methods I need to call it. So I want to call generate even numbers. So if you want to call generate methods, we need even number, even odd number object, right? So that's why what I am doing here, I already created the object. Simply I am passing the object here. So in the same way, I'm going to create one constructor here. Just create one reference variable. So private, what is that? Even odd number, so OBJ. So by using constructor, you can take set method also no problem, but I'm going to take one constructor. Even number, friend. So inside, even odd number, say so OBJ. So this dot OBJ equal to OBJ. That's it. So simply by using that object, you can call it. So implementation by. So OBJ dot, uh, which, number, which method I need to call? Generate even numbers. That's it. In the same way, just to pass 
OBJ here and uh, create our constructor here. So before creating constructor, just create a reference variable for private odd number, not odd number, even odd number, say OBJ by using constructor, say public odd number thread, even uh, number thread, not even number, I think. Yeah, even odd number, say OBJ. So this dot OBJ equal to OBJ. That's it. So simply you can call, simply you can call uh, generate odd numbers method, right? So already object is available. So call, uh, that's it. So come to even odd numbers. So right click here. Just check, I am checking whether it is working fine or not. So oh, I'm sorry, we have to call start methods, right? T1 dot start, T2 dot start, that's it. So internally start method will call even thread, even number thread run method and T2 dot, I mean T2 dot start means internally it will call odd number thread start method, uh, run methods actually. Inside the start methods we are calling respect to uh, even odd, even, uh, I mean generate uh, even numbers method and generate odd numbers methods, right? Okay, what's wrong in that? Yeah, I got it, right? So odd number is, uh, uh, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we are printing, right? So so one thread after one another thread, actually. So both are not executing parallelly. Thread by thread, it is executing. Suppose if I give, I want to print 100 numbers. So what I need to do, just come here and uh, give 100. So we'll see what will be happening. So see here, like one to hundred numbers. So we can print. So this is a most popular interview program. Thanks. So please let me know if you have uh, any doubts. Uh, thank you so much, for us. Uh, I mean, uh, recently uh, our channel got uh, reached a thousand subscribers.